By Tillette, Thatched, Commercial. We're your high street insurance brokers for all types of insurance. Hello and welcome to Sales the Internet Radio. This is our latest podcast. Let's have some news now from Selsey. And this week, the Selsey Cricket Pavilion was officially renamed the Sir Patrick Moore Pavilion in memory of Sir Patrick. He was a former Selsey Cricket Club secretary, an honorary life vice president and former player. The ceremony was carried out by Club President John Reeve and Dr John Mason, MBE, who is a close friend of Sir Patrick from the South Downs Planetarium. Sir Patrick played cricket for Salzy from 1968 until 2001. Also on show today was Sir Patrick's bat, boots and some cricket trophies, which will form part of a Sir Patrick Moore visitor attraction at Salzy Cricket Club. Sounds really great, and it looks like in the photographs everyone had a really great time. And we all know Sir Patrick will be sadly missed in the future. He was a big part of Selsey. Now it's time to go over for our short story section. This week, Ellis is joined by two friends. So over to you, Ellis. At the Selsey Writers' Circle, when we had a bit of an exercise, it's called the the Selsey Road. And this is Rodney Barnes reciting it for me. Here you are, Rodney. Better. This is the song of the Salsey Road, the one that is driving us mad, the one that at the income has vowed to change, that they think the road is bad. What they don't know is the way it was made, the rolling Salsey Road, by smugglers swinging back from a raid with their guilty smugglers load. It goes from here and it goes to there for 16 miles return and never a straight it will make you wait the awful Salesy Road. They gave it a number instead of a name and added to which a letter but what they forgot this clever lot it never could be any better. The Salesy Road is twisting wild but listen to me my friend The Salsey Road is intended to drive all citizens round the bend. But looking back, I love the track for the thing you all forgot. It may be bad, but listen, lad, it's the only one we've got. (laughs) Thank you, Rodney. Uh, This is called The Jogger, Lady Jogger, and it's recited by my friend Sue Cahoon. Uh, I don't think she's a jogger. Here we go. I park my car nearby in Gallows Field. My tryst with healthy runs are so on time. To nature's blessings willingly I yield. Ambitiously her mountain top I climb. Equipment all from lily wipes I buy. My trainers and my jogging bottoms match. I see the seagulls wheeling in the sky. I take my time. I have no bus to catch. I hug my knees, first left and then the right. They crack, so loosen them I must. You cannot really run if they're too tight. Oh, damn, my nights have picked up ugly dust. My face is fixed, my hair in bunches tied. A fashion statement of my hour's intent. Although such weakness I have long denied, except, of course, to keep my friends content. Phones I wear. Those earplugs all fall out. My MP3 is loaded with the best of disco music. Never jog without. And now I'm ready for my morning test. Now, here we go. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. Jogging past the lifeboat shop. Single going, crunch, crunch, crunch. Wonder what we'll have for lunch. Morning, Sydney. Lord, he's got on looking at my jogging bottom. Good job I don't worry much. He he can look, but he mustn't touch. Seagulls shrill their curses to the sky. Old fishermen long dead declaim their hate. I couldn't give them room, could you or I? We really never care for their debate. Glop, clip, glop, clip, glop, clip. Beat to giving me some jip. Soon I'm going homeward bent. Jogging's gone. With good intent. Gallows Field is welcome thus. 
has no need to catch a bus. Jogging's got into my brain, and nonsense fills my mind again. Gallows Field can't catch a bus. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> Pardon us. Relax behind the wheel of my McGann, I consider how my life is spent. I wonder how this nonsense all began, and how a person wise could it prevent? Joggings, not for me, it's just a fad. We all of us are moved by fashion's trend. This sort of thing can drive a woman mad. I think it's time we brought it to an end. What's that? You've got a pass for local gym? They have a pedicure? Oh, fragile day! Darling, you are looking really slim. I'm coming, dear. Uh, how much should I pay? Thank you. Thank you, Ellis. Fabulous story as usual. Now, let's get on with our What's in Salesy spot. This week coming up, Salesy Cancer Relief Fund are having a Bits and Bobs sale on Saturday the 7th of September. It's 10 to 12 in the Methodist Hall. So get on down there and support them and buy yourself some Bits and Bobs. Also recently, Salesy Community Bus, they are looking for volunteer drivers. If you feel you could give a few hours of your time up just to help them out, please call this number. It's 605353. I'm sure they'll be very pleased to hear from you. Now over to a few other things. Our permanent clubs which are on. First of all we've got Crafty Natter Club and that's at Salesy Methodist Church and it's the first and the third Wednesday of the month and it's two to four in the large hall. If you'd like to find out more you can call Lisa Allison on 601032. And Salesy Art Society. They meet on the third Wednesday of each month at 7pm in the Town Hall. You can telephone them and the lady to contact is Jean and it's 605319. And another club, Salesy Carpet Bowls Club and they meet at Medmary School in School Lane on Wednesday and Thursday evenings, 7pm, and on Sundays, 9.30 and 3pm. New members are welcome. You can call Ernie to find out more on 605-660 or Annette on 606-227. If you would like your club or event to feature in the What's On slot in our podcast, please take your details into the Salesy Information Exchange shop and they will pass them on to us. Please make sure you give us plenty of notice though, at least 10 days so that we can link them in on our recordings. Well that's it for this week. Thank you very much for listening and we hope you tune in next time. So goodbye for now. Bye! Buy to let, thatched, commercial. We're your high street insurance brokers for all types of insurance. Avoid faceless internet firms. Buy house insurance, do it face to face. See Neil and the friendly team at High Street Selsey. Buy house insurance, do it face to face. Or call Selsey 606 552.